Hello, go. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for game two between Vibe and Morrow. And we do have them on Zelnaga Fortress. The Terran player is going to be Morrow. Once again, the screen is... That's actually wrong. So we do apologize, guys. I forgot to set that up. But uh, it is going to be a Terran versus Zerg, of course. Indeed. And it's going to be on the good old map, Zelnaga Fortress. Let's check for that tower. It is the expiring tower over time. So it expires without anything there. Oh, yeah. That's a little interesting. I actually was under the impression the tower expired the longer units stayed next to it. Well, it, it makes sense because we saw players putting their units right next to it almost the entire time when yeah. it wasn't really necessary. Yeah. So there's You'd a, think they'd bounce in and out So off if, of it. if anything, this early game tower, really, w w given the way it works, it almost seems like it's just a deterrent against early game cheese, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's the only thing that it comes to mind for me. And any kind of early game rush. I kind of like the fact that it expires. I actually really like that. I think a lot more maps should adopt that. I think a lot more maps, and I've said this time and time again, I think a lot more maps should adopt more interactive strategies within the map. Like, I don't feel comfortable with maps always being so plain Jane, you know? I, I, I want more interesting dynamics. Blow away some, you know, terrain and it becomes a ramp. Or, you know, I don't know, destroy something and Dark Swarm appears or PDD. Have like a map where you. PDD works against all sides. Have a like teleporter a or something PDD. that goes to another side of the map. That might be a little complex, but I mean, it's possible. I'll that would be kind of crazy, man. Yeah. And me and you had a great suggestion, Pain User. We had the suggestion of a of a Zerg unit in Heart of the Swarm that floated over a Vespine geyser that attached wasn't... Attached itself and then ballooned. And ballooned and then through the up. fumes and then floated up. It's genius. Yes, that's it's a genius. The longer the longer it stays over the fumes, the bigger it becomes. You, you deploy it <laughs> over a Vespine geyser. Only three at a time, of course. What do you mean only three at a time? One can mount each Vespine geyser. Oh, what? One so you can, like, right-click three of them on, and they jump on, and then they, And like, it just, like, balloons into a balloon, and then you just let it float away? It's genius. Well, what does it do, then? It's just like a, a floating baneling that doesn't have to be loaded into an overlay. What if, what if it contains its them. gas, you float it over the Terran base, and you just release the toxins? Vespine that, gas camps their raxes for, like, a minute? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool, man. Chemi chemical bombs. That's what the, the Zerg's going to evolve next. Chemical time. bombs. Chemical bombs. Vespine is pretty toxic, I've been told, except it looks like the spawning pool is full of Vespine, or whatever that is. Yeah, primordial how did that only soup. cost 200 minerals? It's the primordial soup. Mmm, primordial ooze we all came from was a spawning pool. Good to know. So, it looks like Vibe is going to be hatching first here. Uh, excuse me, no, getting pool gas and then going for the hatchery. And Mara's going to get that SCV in pretty quickly. Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is game two. So uh, Game one, going to Vibe with a nasty, nasty Baneling bomb yeah, yeah, yeah. in the middle of the map. Game one, going, definitely going to Vibe. He, you know, that Baneling bomb was just great. Like, the whole positioning of it on the little high ground next to the tower where Marines are most likely to congregate for, like, sort of the rendezvous point for Terran players before they oh, launch yeah, their attack into sure. the natural. Just a great position in general. And it was able to, uh... The, the trap worked! The, it's a trap! It worked really well. And yeah, it certainly did. And there wasn't anything that Morrow could do. After losing all his Marines, his entire mech army was just stomped. Yeah. That was really, really, really solid yeah. from him. And, uh, Morrow gonna open up with a reactor Hellion build this game. Probably gonna expand pretty soon here, or... He's added... Two additional Raxes? Is that, is that a Rax as well? That is another factory. Another factory. So he's going straight up Blue Flame Hellions, it looks like? It looks to me like he's going double Reactor Hellions. Oh my goodness. You don't think there's going to be a Tech Lab on here for Blue Flame? I think he's going double Reactor Hellions, man. So, what, like four Hellions at a time? Or he might drop a Tech Lab on the second factory and build Marines off of the Rax. Hmm. And then do an all-in, but... I think regardless, we're going to see some one base play here out of Moro. That's what it looks like to me. Well, that's definitely going to be interesting. The Queen already perched on top of this ramp. Is Vibe going to be able to hold off the aggression is the next question we have to ask. Uh, Moro has come in here with a couple of Hellions trying to do a little bit of damage. Uh, just poking at the front door. And last game, Moro had a lot of Hellions, but he never really poked in and through the natural of Tau Rim. He just kind of went here or there, but he didn't actually try to attack any drones, so let's hope this time around he's a little bit more aggressive, he tries to do some more damage, he did go with the double reactor factory. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that's 400 minerals every 30 seconds. That's... But... That's a lot of money. But... Vibe did get the Roach Warren, mm -hmm. and he's been leaving his drones at the main. He hasn't saturated his natural yet. Smart. Just now, mainerding some units over to the natural. It's almost like Vibe knows. Yeah, I know. That's really weird. That this was coming. How 
how did he know? I mean, he has no know. drones of the natural. He didn't he's leaving it. a queen at the ramp. He's really protected against Hellions. Yeah, uh, he's 100% ready for this. Yeah, this is really interesting. Um, he's fully prepared. Now it looks like Marvel's going to be going for the command center. Going to try to get that CC down, but he's got so many Hellions on the map. Yeah, he really does. He could start his own little fireman camp. He could potentially burn down the roaches and just work his way into the natural and do a ton of damage here. I thought I thought you were going to say he could potentially burn the roof down. No, no, no. <laughs> Bring down the house. <laughs> the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Oh, yeah. Well, that's we a low no mic. Let it burn. Dude, that's so many aliens. What is going on? Dude, that's over 16 aliens. At the eight minute mark. This is insanity. Yeah. He's running in here with, seriously, he Five is- Five is in a lot of trouble oh here. Oh my god. The roaches are just getting demolished. <laughs> the roaches are actually dying What a build here out of Moro. What is going on? Wow. So abusive. Oh my god. See, Moro has a distinct advantage here. He understands. Oh, he understands, he plays Zerg. Dude, he understands the abusiveness of specific okay, builds. That's true, but you know what? Five was seriously prepared for Hellion. Absolutely, he still died. absolutely. He still died. That I mean, is straight so up. So many Hellions. I think this is game, man. I mean, there's not that many roaches coming up. I like the triple Evo chamber here. Yeah, beautiful. That'll keep the Hellions away, but I mean, eventually, flames are gonna burn this sucker down. And then what is Vod gonna have to protect himself? This is uh. insane! So <laughs> many Hellions. Oh my god, dude. The more Karen players are going to do this now. I already know. I feel it. Oh, absolutely. Karen's going to start using this mass Hellion strategy. That's pretty... Oh, five. Oh, five. No. no, messing that up in a major way. Could have got the Evo Chamber up after it was canceled, but now the Hellions are inside the main, and the drones are just ripe for a barbecue. Oh, my god. He only has a few drones left. This is the last... Oh. Of no. the remaining drones, once these go down, Vibe will virtually not be mining. Vibe has four drones he alive. Has four drones. He is Dunzo. He is super Dunzo. Right? He's <laughs> Dunzo's Magulahan. Dunzo's <laughs> Magulahan. It's over. I mean, all Morrow has to do now is prepare himself for the all-in counterattack, and I hope he has got some tanks. He does. He's fine, man. Yeah, that's got to be game. He has two orbitals. He has tanks. He has thirty harvesters. No way. Vibe is actually going to try to macro out of this. Hey, man, you got to hand it to Danny. Sticking it, in, stick it in there. He literally As stuck it in say, there. Sticking you know it what in his there. Is? I Insert caught here. That's his quote. Insert here. Really, though? Vibe getting annihilated what? by that push. Yeah, that was insane. What is? What kind of build is that? I'm just opening up chat right now. Everyone's like, oh, my God. Lol strat. Terrence, so abusive. That was super abusive. Mm. What Zerg player in the it. right? I mean, all right, remember, guys, Vibe was expecting Hellions. He had a queen on his ramp. He had Roach Worm ready. He had Roaches at his front door. He had qu he didn't even transfer his drones down to his natural. He was, like, super prepared for Hellions, but not prepared for 16 Hellions. I don't know if Vibe has a really good scope on where this game is at right now. He must think that that was some sort of super all-in-ish one-base play. Yeah, but little, little does, does he, he know, know Moro expanded center. behind yeah. that yeah. and still made it work and oh. was making SCVs almost the entire time. I'm so confused right now. How is Zerg supposed to deal with that? I don't know. Tell me. Like, you, you, it's impossible to scout that second factory, right? Unless you sack an overlord in there. That is such a crazy bear with you. I can see Terran starting to do this all the time now. Are you thinking about this right now? Oh, yeah. Are you thinking about using this on ladder oh, yeah. tonight? Absolutely. You're going to go on ladder? You're going to go burn up some drones? I wonder if that would even work against Toss, dude. Just like mass red flame millions. I mean, they're good, dude. They're pretty good. They're good, man. Hellions are a good all-around unit. They're strong. Oh, my God. This is it. This is going to be the coup de grace. Oh, come on. It's beyond over. Yeah. This is... Once Vibe sees this, he's going to be like, GG. This is like the atomic bomb. <laughs> Building bunkers and everything. Oh no. Oh my god. So cute, Moro. So cute. Oh. Oh man. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Vibes like F you. <laughs>